Hi everyone, in this lecture, we will learn how to add Anaconda PowerShell prompt to Windows right click context menu. I show you uh, what it looks like. For example, here we are just click right click the mouse and you see here open in Anaconda prompt. Here I means Anaconda PowerShell prompt. This is just a short form okay uh, before we do that and uh, I just ex explain why we are bothered to do that uh, maybe somebody asked me uh, that question okay no let's uh, open the anaconda PowerShell prompt for example uh, Anaconda PowerShell prompt is much more convenient than the uh, the Anaconda prompt. Yeah. Uh, for example, we want to change and um, to the uh, working uh, directly uh, in the disk D. For example, we type cd disk d uh, for example my lecture folder there's another folder subfolder called vivlet and lazy this is my uh, current working directly i want to enter this and uh, then start a uh, duplicate notebook uh, we have to do this week yeah for the uh, just know I said the Anaconda PowerShell uh, prompt is uh, more convenient than the Anaconda prompt uh, because in the Anaconda prompt we have to uh, enter to D, we type D, then CD my lecture uh, we will analyze it like, like this. Yeah, maybe you know that uh, if you use Anaconda prompt. Yeah, but for the uh, PowerShell, yeah, we need to do that. We just CDD uh, in this way. Okay, we have to do this. Then do Peter Notebook, for example, to start. But if we have add the PowerShell um, prompt, of course, uh, also the Anaconda prompt. I have another uh, lecture about that. If you interested in that, you can watch that one. But I suggest you to use the Anaconda PowerShell prompt. Uh, I show you, for example, this is my working directly we will analyze we just enter this uh folder we right click for example here open in anaconda prompt you see this is my uh, power share no you see we already in this path uh, in this folder so we just type Jupyter Notebook, then start it. You see, it's very um, handy. Okay, uh, because uh, this uh, um, computer has been added the uh, Anaconda prompt to the right click, I have to go to another computer to show you how to do that. Let's search Anaconda Power, uh, PowerShell uh, prompt. Search Anaconda PowerShell. Yeah, it's here, already here. We just right click and then go to open file location and open 
we just right click Anaconda PowerShell prompt Anaconda 3. Right click. We go to the properties. Uh, we go to this target here. We just move the uh, mouse on it and right click, then copy. We can pass in any text editor, for example, uh, I close this here. I just establish a new uh, text documents, this. So I passed in it. Let's remove uh, these things before the PowerShell dot access. Just remove this part. You can see the uh, slice is a lot, much uh, bigger. Uh, yeah, just remove this part. Here, you see, we only leave this following. Of course, for yours, I think the name is different. This is mine. Don't copy um, mine. I think maybe uh, it, it works. You just uh, change the name, the complete name. You see, and here the name. But it's better to uh, copy the path of your um, uh, Anaconda uh, PowerShell prompt and remove. This part, just like I said, only leave this. Okay. No, let's to the next step. We also uh, right click the Anaconda Navigator, Anaconda three. Right click. Yeah, is in fact it's in the sim folder. Uh, if you already closed, uh, just uh, click here to looking. Uh, Anaconda Navigator or uh, Anaconda PowerShell prompt because they are the same folder. So we go to this Anaconda Navigator, Anaconda 3, just right click and go to property, the click. No, we go, go to change icon, click to open. We copy this. Just put the mouse here and copy. We passed in the text editor here. Yeah, this is the icon we want to use. Uh, you see this icon, Anaconda icon. Okay. No, let's do the next step. No, we are run registry editor it is called re reg edit yeah just uh, uh, search yeah already yeah, here then double click to open it. we go to maybe we go to the top Yeah, here we go to each key underscore classes underscore root. Yeah, this one, the first. Then we could go to directly, directly D, A, B, C, D. Uh, is D, D, I. Yeah, it's here directly. Then we click here to open, then go to background and click, double click to open, then go to the shell. Here we just right click to go to new and a key. We add a name is and Honda, uh, maybe just a power shell, power, sh power shell. Yeah, you can give any name. 
you can give just Anaconda prompt. Yeah, or Anaconda PowerShell prompt. Yeah, here we just use Anaconda PowerShell. Yeah, mm. try to use a, a short name. And then we add a subkey called command. First, we, we, we add this value. You see, we go to the right, this uh, panel or window. Just click to open. Here, we add uh, this text. Open in Anaconda PowerShell. You can add uh, anything uh, you like. Uh, this is the name on the uh, right-click menu. Paste here, then click OK. Next, we just uh, click Anaconda PowerShell. Yeah, we um, uh, uh, create a sub uh, key. We go to the new key again, okay, sub key. We give the name is command C O M M A N D command. Uh, we double click the default and give the value is all this. You see the first from this PowerShell access, the whole things just copy and paste. Okay, now if you go to the Desktop, for example, you just uh, right click. Uh, on Windows 11, uh, it is hide uh, uh, here, show more options, but on 10, it's just uh, here on the open. Uh, my is because I also um, installed Windows Terminal, it's on the, the terminal, Windows Terminal. But he, 11 is hiding here, if you click, you see, it's already here. But we want to add my, uh, icon here, make it look nice. So, we go to this Anaconda PowerShell here. Uh, we click, then we go to this right window or panel and right click. Go to new and now we are at a string value. This one we name it icon I C O N. We double click it, we copy this the user profile, um, the anaconda navigator dot I C O. This one in it then okay now if we go to the um the show more options you see it already showed on the right uh, click including this icon okay it's very nice uh thank you see you in the next lecture